Hey there guys, well it's back. I got the UC46 projector here. This was actually one of the biggest videos by far on my channel that I've done. It's got like a quarter of a million views. Coincidentally, it was one of my like first videos, so it was back when I had terrible quality and everything else. So I figured I would go back and do a revisited review of this, of the UC46 projector in 2018. So we're gonna take a look at it again today. I'm gonna show you what it looks like, tell you my thoughts coming up. All right guys, so if you like projectors and other tech, I do weekly tech reviews here on my channel, Canon Tech TV. I actually have a whole budget projector playlist that I'll put down there in the link below. So if you like that kind of stuff, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button down here below to make sure you keep up with the latest content. So this is a pretty good projector. It's pretty cool for a few different reasons. It's, it's sub $100. You could probably get it for honestly under $80. Um, I'll put a link down there below in the description that you can check out. There's a bunch of different sellers that sell this, like the UC46 is the model of the projector, but it's very cheap. It's a good entry level projector if you want to get into you know having it for game nights and movie nights and things like that it's really cool so the other good thing here is there's actually like an input here for an aux cable so you can hook up your own speaker or you can even hook this up to your home entertainment system by aux cable and you can actually really really up the sound quality that way because the fans are a little loud but that's an easy bypass the other cool thing I like is you can see kind of right down here it's got a little like a kickstand so you can you can put this all the way down or you can open it up to where you can kind of tilt it a little bit and that helps with getting a better picture and stuff. Um, but it does have a keystone wheel there too to kind of do your vertical tilt as well. So it's it's a very, very good budget option. It also has some Wi-Fi connectivity where it's very easy to use, especially if you have Android and you can actually just kind of screencast and uh, get, your, get your phone's picture up there on the wall as well. But let's take a look guys. We'll go throw this up on the wall and we'll take a look at what it looks like. All right guys, so you can see here just physically uh, you got your IR sensor here on the back. You got a fan back here. Going over to the left side, you got two USB ports right here, your HDMI cable. And then over here, you've got an AV jack, and then you've got your headphone port here. I'm using the HDMI cable right now for the Roku, and you've got your two USB ports right here as well. Uh, there's also an SD card slot right here on top of those. So yeah, over on the right side here, you've just got then your power input. So I just have that hooked up there and powered by an extension cable. On the top here, you've got your other controls. I mean, you've got your source button, you've got your menu, power on and off. Then you've got your navigation buttons here that you can do without the remote. Um, you can actually do left and right here for the volume. And you've got your play pause button and a back button there. And then finally on the top here, you've got your focus wheel. And then this is your keystone tilt to help tilt it vertically. And I will say this can get a little bit hot here. You can definitely feel the heat coming off of this unit, but as long as you keep it kind of well ventilated, you should be able to use this for a few hours at a time. All right guys, so here's the UC46 thrown up on the wall here. So I've got this on my projector screen and uh, I'll throw on the light really quick just to show you. So you can kind of see up there on the wall. Let me come over here just to give you a quick idea. So. So this is the size we're working with right here. I'd say it's roughly probably about like a four by seven foot picture up there. So yeah, it looks pretty decent for a budget projector here. I mean, this is a sub $100 projector. You can see uh, it doesn't fit my screen perfectly up there, but you can't really tell that anyway. Um, if I throw this back down here, for example, so yeah, you can see there. So this is a, you know, like 480p resolution, like 800 by 480. It looks pretty good for that though. You're not really supposed to use these per se for like PowerPoint and things like that and text. It works a lot better with more just like entertainment and games and things like that. So I'm gonna show you here with the Roku hooked up to it, what it kind of looks like. All right, so for testing purposes here, I'm gonna bring that volume down a little bit to about 50 here. We'll go kind of right in the middle. And I'm going to show you some YouTube clips here. So first off, I'm just going to put my tax star mic here that I'm using to film this right up next to the side of the projector so you can kind of get a little bit of a feel for how loud the fans are. Okay, so that's kind of the fan noise just right there. But yeah, let me zoom in on this just a tad here. So, uh... Let's play play this here, this microphone review. 
And I'm going to put the mic right up next to it. Tech TV. Today, what we are doing is we're going over a budget microphone option. So I'm actually filming this video right now with a Boya BYM1 lav mic I got clipped on here. So that's kind of how I started out on YouTube. All right, so there you go. There's like a little bit of a sound comparison there. Um, we'll hop over maybe to like this video here and I'll, I'll show you again for a little bit of audio. Launch offer ever. Plus get six months free Apple Music only on Verizon. Hey there guys, Tim here back from Canada Tech TV. Today what we're going over are these Type-C earbuds. And these are a pair of wired earbuds actually, but they work very well. And they're great if you have a Pixel phone or if you have any other Type-C device. So that's what we're taking a look at coming up. So thanks guys for being here with me. So that actually didn't sound too terrible there. Um, sounded pretty decent. I will say that the fans on this projector are pretty loud. If you have though another speaker to hook up to that, it's really gonna help up your sound quality and it's gonna make it sound a lot better. But it definitely is noticeable. Like if you're in a small room or if you have the volume down low, it's gonna be hard to hear probably certain parts of movies and stuff. All right, so just to see what this UC46 can do in daytime, you can see there's some light coming in over in the kitchenette area. I do have the rest of the room kind of blocked with these blinds. So there's three windows that are big like that covered by the blinds. So with a little bit of daylight coming in, this is what you can kind of expect. So for, uh, you know, shades drawn or if you're in a classroom, you've got a little bit of light. This is kind of what you can expect with the UC46 here. So you can see just the size of the room and everything. Um, this is kind of how big, again, that screen looks up here on the wall so here we go so this is the uc46 there's kind of the main menu um, so you can see it's a little bit washed out not terrible though okay so now i've plugged in the roku just to show again a little bit of a different view so now what we're looking at is netflix here so you can see just kind of what that's going to look like so you can see a little bit a little bit muddled, um, can still make out stuff on here, but it's definitely not gonna be real crisp and clear. So this is gonna be a little less bright compared to say a more expensive model. Like if you're looking at the CL760, which I'm gonna be reviewing here, and you can kind of look at the my projector playlist as well to kind of compare, but definitely uh, the brightness could be a little bit better for daylight. That's why I'd really, really recommend just using this one more so during the night or when you have complete darkness. But this is a very good projector. You can see here the quality is pretty decent for you know an 800 by 480 projector. You can play games on there. You can you know watch Netflix, YouTube, stuff like this. So it's also a cool option because like I went over my other video, you have some of the wireless capabilities where you can connect your phone wirelessly if you want to. Otherwise you can use an HDMI cable like I'm using right now and it works perfect that way too. But I would still definitely recommend this projector here in 2018. It's a good budget option still to this day and you can do a lot with it all right guys so there you have it so i would definitely still recommend this in 2018 i like having the wi-fi connectivity with your phone and that it does actually uh set it apart from a lot of those other budget options it's very cool for game nights for movie nights things like that and it's cool because it's not gonna have the awesome quality of like a 4k or a 1080p tv but you can throw it up on the wall and it's going to be a huge picture, so it's just kind of cool because it's almost like you're going to the movies in your own home. But as I mentioned, I actually reviewed this uh, a couple of years ago. So if you want to see that initial video, um, there's a lot of comments and stuff like that too. So if you want to check those out, see if there's anything helpful there for you, I'll put that link right up in the corner over here. So that'll be there for you to take a look at as well. Thank you guys for spending the time with me here today. Like I said, check out that projector playlist as well if you wanna see other budget projectors. Thank you for watching with me here today and you guys take care.